This is my manager, Mason. He's responsible for finding all of the sponsorship opportunities that you guys see on the channel, including the one that's going to be on today's video. When he's not helping countless creators from the old school RuneScape YouTube scene monetize their channel to the best of his abilities, he likes to play a little bit of RuneScape. And when I say a little, I mean a little. We're talking maybe a couple hours a week. For the past couple of years, he spent heaps of time making a maxed pure. 99 range, 99 mage one defense and then get this the fucking idiot decided that he wanted to do the varrock medium diary so he could get the grand exchange teleport just using the varrock teleport and to do that you have to do nature spirit he spent two years maxing a pure and the day after he maxed it he got 13 defense so today since I have the capability and the funds, I'm going to put some money and some time towards creating a pure account that Mason can use to go PK. But before we jump in, a quick word from our sponsor. Introducing today's sponsor, Raycon Earbuds. Do you want to be like Cardi B? And I don't mean having big fake boobs in a successful rap career. Oh, I'm halfway there. You don't have a successful rap career. I'm talking about Raycon earbuds. Celebrities are obsessed with them. Do you want to wear the Raycon earbuds? Huh? Raycon earbuds start at half the price of other premium earbuds on the market and they're just as good. Raycon's everyday E25 earbuds are their best model yet. More bass and a more compact design which gives you a nice noise isolating fit. When I say noise isolating, I mean noise isolating. When you got these bad boys in, you can't hear a thing around you. I, I'll take you to the bedroom right now and have sex with you if you want. Let's go. See? Can't hear a fucking thing. If you click on the link in the description or head to buyraycon.com forward slash evscape, you get 15% off your order. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. All right, ladies and gents, first things first, we need to remind him every single time he logs in that he completed the Nature Spirit quest. So I'm going to see if I can get that name. I highly doubt it. But we'll see. Not available. Okay. Well, we're just going to go with 13 defense, by the way, then. Now, every time he logs into the account, he'll remember that he fucked up. You, this one. Okay. I got 13 defense. Fantastic. Let's go with that one. <laughs> Why was it so hard to come up with a name? And we're going to make sure he looks like a bot. Let's do this. You, you can't make this shit up. The account has been locked as we suspect it's been stolen. I made the account four minutes ago. How? I, I, I'm just so confused. Like, I'm, 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 I'm just going to make a new account at this point, but I've been, like, the account recovery page. Like, I have to... Like who? Who was trying to steal the account within the three minutes that it was made? I don't understand. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, round two. Can I just, can I just take that same name? I have 13 def. God damn it. 13 defense pure. Perfect. Finally, we, let's hopefully not, you know, get our account hacked as soon as we get off Tutorial Island this time. What the fuck? You know, the more that I think about it, I got kicked off the game. Like, connection lost, and then straight back to the starting screen. Which means they think I'm the person that stole the account that I just created. Right? That has to be... Fucking Jagex, man, honestly. Dude, this guy was in the exact same spot the first time I did this. He's not fucking moved. Okay, now I was originally going to transfer a bunch of money over, but now I'm afraid the account's gonna get locked out. So I'm only gonna transfer a little bit of money over. <laughs> I'm gonna start with five mil here and uh, hope, hope to the good Lord, we don't get locked out now that I've bonded it up. Cause luckily I was just about to bond the last account. It happened. It a See? What the fuck, man? Okay, 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 okay. We got the account back, guys. That's good. Um, all I had to do was go onto my email and change the password again. Like, I don't... Un 
I don't get it. It's so weird, man. So after going through the account recovery process for an account that I literally just made and I was the only person to log into, uh, I managed to get the account back and I spoke to some people at Jagex and they informed me that it most likely had something to do with the fact that I was using a VPN, which makes no fucking sense to me at all. But regardless, we got the account back. All right, so first things first, if we are going to end up doing some bursting, uh, we need to do the Monkey Madness quest line and uh, be able to get access to the tunnels. I probably won't finish the uh, Monkey Madness quest, but uh, let's go ahead and do the quest line anyway. Should be waterfall quest done there. Beautiful, love to see it. And that gives us base 30s there, which is very nice. So we're basically going to get 40 attack before we even have to start training. Also managed to get 10 mage just by splashing on a few things on the way and uh, killing a fire giant back there. What I'm going to do is get to 21 and then just alk while I do all of these quests for monkey madness. And then um, hopefully once we, uh, once we do desert treasure, we'll burst the rest of it. Trino village out of the way. That's going to take us up to 36 attack. Now we can move on to the grand tree. I think we can use the spirit trees, right? We can, but we can't leave from here. Yeah. 20 agility. So now we can summer pie for the grand tree quest. But also while I was doing that, I uh, started low elking. I used the divine magic potions to boost from 17 to 21. Because if you do that, it stays there for uh, the whole five minutes. And I just started low elking there. And we're now up to 31. So... Um, I don't want to say we're gaming, but yeah, we're kind of gaming. All right, Grand Tree quest out the way. That gives us 41 attack, which means if we want to go train our stats, we can now use a Rune Scimitar, which is, I think this is the last bit of attack XP we're going to get from a quest. I, I can't see myself doing any other quests on this because, yeah, we could go for Mithril Gloves, but uh, end of the day, uh, I like my manager, but not that much. I can't be fucked, you know what I mean? And we're not going to be getting the uh, experience from Monkey Madness, obviously, because then we won't be one defense. So uh, we can move on to that now. But for now, I need to do some AFKing. So I'm going to go set up at the old Sand Crabs and probably just train to 50 attack, if I'm honest. Okay, so I decided instead of uh, training range, I'd go and do a little bit of splashing because I realized that I need to get 51 mage anyway so that I can use the divine magic potions to uh, to pot up and do high alchemy. And that way, while I'm doing quests, I can just run around and do high elks with the divine magic pots. I can't get over how fucking useful these divine magic pots are. Like previously, I would have to uh, hit a magic pot and then after one minute, I'd have to hit another one when I was at 55. But this will just stay like that for five minutes. It's so fucking good. Another thing that I forgot I could do is get 43 prayer, uh, which we're not going to do. We're going to get 45. I don't think he'll ever use smite. I don't think he's, you know, a, a sick PK. I think he just does it for a bit of fun. So I think we'll just stop at 45. So I'm going to go buy some Dagonoth bones and head down to the Wildy Altar. I was not even there for three seconds. And I've just been done by a guy in a magic short bow. A level 55 and a mage short. <sighs> that is annoying. There we go, boys. 45 prayer. I definitely overshot the amount of Dagonoth bones I would need, by the way. I bought 200 and I needed about 50. <laughs> On to Anki Madness. Let's go. I have a confession to make, guys. If you go back far enough in my videos, you will see that prior to this Runelite plugin that tells you where to click, I used to pay the 200,000 coins to skip this puzzle, not because I was unable to do them, just because I couldn't be fucked. Do you guys ever just, um, fail to pick the lock like 90 times in a row? I don't think I can ever get out of here. I think this one, this one thieving has got me stuck forever. Okay, I got sick of dying on Apatol, so I just quickly went and got 21 hit points. That takes me out of the one hit range for everything, I hope. I died like six or seven times and I just got fucking furious, so I had to leave. Wait, guys, I'm a fucking idiot. It's gonna be a 50 attack. I only need to do Monkey Madness up to the point where I get the Gree Gree, which is like the next part. I don't even have to fucking finish the thing. 
beast. And like, in all honesty, I don't even have to get the Grigri. It's just going to make things a little bit easier when I go to do chinning and stuff. And there we go, boys. We got the monkey Grigri. I don't want to watch this cutscene. Please tell me I don't have to. No way. I have to watch the cutscene to get the Grigri? You're kidding me. All right, beautiful. Now we got the Grigri. I'm going to move on to the uh, Arva's Accumulator quest. So we need to do animal magnetism in order to do that. You need to get 30 range, 18 slayer, 19 crafting, and 35 wood cutting, as well as these three quests, which I completely forgot I had to do, but still won't get me to 46 prayer. We're gaming, baby. There's 55 mage, so we don't need these divine magic potions anymore. We can just high elk the day away. I need to get 70 mage so that I can burst, and then we're going to go for 85 after that. Um, so I kind of need to elk to 75 or maybe even like 66 because I can just use the divine magic potions but, You know, what? I'm gonna take them back 35 wood cutting onto the crafting now 18 crafting onto the range 30 range onto the slayer 18 slayer Let's move on to the restless ghost and then priest in peril restless ghost is done We're gonna move on to Ernest the chicken now Ernest the chicken. Let's move on to priest in peril priest in peril done on to animal magnetism And there we go animal magnetism done next up I'm gonna go afk train my range probably up to about 60 We'll see how we go and in between range hits I'm gonna be elkin <laughs> I'm pretty sweaty. 55 range, which is the level required to wield red chin chompers, which is what we're going to do. Before we go on chin, I'm going to go ahead and do fight arena as well as the quest that has Count Draenor in it. I can't remember what it's called. Vampire Slayer, uh, just to get an extra two monsters for Nightmare Zone when we go there. Fight arena done, on to the Vampire Slayer. Vampire Slayer done. Let's go do some chinning. 75 range from the chinning here. What I'm going to do now is do one more quest. I think it's the Corsair Curse or some shit like that. The one that has the Sand Snake in it because I don't have enough for Nightmare Zone, as you can see. I can't teleport there. So one more boss for the Nightmare Zone. And then I think we get fucking heaps of points because we're going to do a regular one, not a customized one. And uh, I think that means we'll get more points. Then we use the Nightmare Zone to train our ranged up until we have enough for a Berserker Ring imbued. Then I'm going to go do a Fire Cape and then we'll go back to Chin In, just so we save a little bit of money on the Chins. Decided to do Lost City instead for the Tree Spirit. And now we're off to Nightmare Zone. That's Nightmare Zone done. Enough points for an imbued Berserker Ring plus a bit extra. Time to go back to Chinning to get 85 range. Okay, this is weird, guys. There's a loop half of a key on the ground here. I'm the only person in the area. And it's not on my rune light drop saying that I got a loop half of a key. And no monkeys would die there. So if someone run past and just drop the loop half of a key without me noticing or something such a strange item to drop on the ground as well i'm so confused okay nah it has been way way too long like it's been at least three minutes and this thing's still on the ground what is going on i'm gonna pick it up up oh, that was on the ground for three minutes Man, I don't even know. It's too late for this shit. We now have 85 range. We can move on to getting a fire cape so then we can start training our strength and the rest of our combat stats. Made a bit of an oversight with the range as well. Um, because of divine magic pots these days, you only need 81 magic rather than 85 because you can just divine magic pot up and you've got a tele block for five minutes and that's the power spike for these accounts is tele block um because nothing else comes before that except for charge so between 80 and 85 there's no need for magic levels except for 81 now uh so a bit of an oversight there i only needed 81 range so i'm only going to go for 81 mage which means we're not going to have to do desert treasure and we can just elk our way up to 81 because we're pretty close anyway. Uh, also, if anyone was wondering, I spent about 20,000 red chin chompers. I'm not exactly sure how much that is, but it's okay because over here you can see on my main account, I've been doing some flipping 
and we managed to make 15 mil profit. So, uh, big up flipping old school RuneScape, by the way. I watched his video the other day and he used this plugin. It's fucking sick. Go check it out. There we go. Fire Cape unlocked. It's a pretty decent uh, Jad time as well. Uh, now we can go do our melee training and finish it off with Mage and the Mage Arena Cape, and then we're done. Time to imbue that Berserker Ring. We still have 300k points left over as well. I might have AFK'd a little bit longer than I needed to. 50 attack, we can now wield Granite Weaponry, and I'm going to use the Granite Weaponry with the spec of the Granite Maul. Extra couple of hits every now and then. Can't complain with it. There's 69 strength and that's where we're gonna finish it because we don't get another max hit until we would get another hit points level. We would get 77 and that would get us another combat level. So it's not worth getting the extra max hit here. Once we get the extra combat level from the hit points level, that's when we come back and train. But that won't be for a lot of PKing, so. And there we go, 76 hit points. <gasps> oh no, oh, oh no. Hey, listen, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. The account is maxed out for its combat level. Okay, that once we get mage, it's maxed out for its combat. Shh, don't tell Mason. 75 mage coming in. Time to go do the mage arena and mage arena 2 mini games. That's mage arena 1 done. Let's go get these mage arena 2 capes. Mage arena 2 done and we're going to get the best mage arena 2 cape. Obviously, Sarah Diamond. Don't care what your opinion is. This is the best one. And there we go, boys. 81 magic, which means we can now pot up to use Teleblock. What I'm going to do now, we're going to head to Hans and see how long it took us to get this account. Hans, what are you saying, brother? Two days, 12 hours. So it took us less than three days playtime to make a Teleblock G Mauler with 69 strength and 85 range at 66 combat. I'm pretty fucking happy with that. And there's only one thing left to do, boys. We gotta call up the man himself and let him know. Big man. Hey, man. How are ya? I'm good, just enjoying the, the great state of New Jersey, also known as the armpit of America. Listen, mate, the reason I've uh, I've called you up today, I said I, I had a you know a video that I'm I'm doing that I needed your help with. Um, uh -huh. Well, let me put it this way: uh, I just wanted to remind you of that time that um, remember when you did Nature Spirit on your. <laughs> on your pure oh yeah yeah thank thanks so much for reminding me i had almost <laughs> forgotten about it <laughs> oh man. well um do me a favor have a look in discord general for a second and tell me what you yeah. think about this that looks like an elite count that uh that is the 13 defense pure 13. <laughs> yeah so this is the nature spirit pure that you're this, making. Yeah, exactly. No, this is uh, this is your account, mate. I made it for you. Oh, you're you're kidding me. No, no, I made it so you could go PK on a PR because yeah, I know you fucked up yours and you really wanted to go. So you're kidding me, man. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I have to say, for legal reasons, um, I'm not From officially. I'm a I'm not officially allowed to give you the account, um, but. I'm never ever going to use it again, so. Oh my God, thank you so much, man. That that means a lot to me. I um, know. Extra, I like extra kicker for action. you as well, uh, because I know you couldn't do this yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a fire cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I needed 70 defense in order to, to take on Jad. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right, exactly. Wait, oh, you got a, uh, the, uh, uh, Major Arena 2 cape too. Yeah, I, I did. Saw it, it yep. that on my my alleged main main in air quotes because it's definitely not a main with a region <laughs> bracelet. But <laughs> it's uh it's all stacked out. You got the Arvis, you got the fire cape, you got the imbued um, mage cape. It, it's all set, man. Oh, that means so much to me. Thank you because I man, I get maybe two hours to play RuneScape a week. Hey, listen, mate. Uh, I'll let you get back to your holiday, and uh, when you get back, I'll pass on the details, and and you can go about and whatever you want to do with it. Thank you so much, mate. It means a lot to me. Hey, not a problem, man. Have a good holiday.
All right. Thank you. Cheers. Peace. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That wraps up today's video. It sounds like, uh, speaking of things that are wrapped, it sounds like Mason was pretty happy with the fact that he's going to be able to use a pure now. Before we end, guys, I do have to say thank you again to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out that link in the description, guys. And also, for those that enjoyed the Battle Royale and uh, also like doing a bit of PVM, I am organizing another tournament, which I have explained the rules to. There is a post on my community tab if you want to go check that out and uh, potentially sign up for the tournament. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take it easy.